find the locus of a point such that the sum of its distance from points 0, 0,2 and 0, negative 2 is 6. So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So let's say this is point A which is 0, 0, 0,2 and B is 0, negative 2. We want to find a set of points which is nothing but the locus having this character that the sum of its distance from this this point is 6. So let us take an arbitrary point say somewhere here. It can be anywhere so I'm taking this as an arbitrary point. So P is an arbitrary point having coordinate of x comma y. So what's the condition? The condition is uh, PA this is the distance of PA and this is the distance of PB. So this is the condition that is given that PA plus PB PA plus PB is equal to 6 and this is only a point a, a representative of this locus it's an arbitrary point so this we've got a set of points it's not only one point so all those points will form something that uh, we'll see later so PA using distance formula I can say is square root of uh, x minus 0 squared which is x squared plus y minus 2 squared plus square root of pb pb is x minus 0 squared which is again x squared plus y minus minus 2 or y take away negative 2 is y plus 2 the whole squared is equal to 6 so let us take one of this to the other side so square root of x squared plus y minus 2 the whole squared is equal to 6 minus square root of uh, x squared plus uh, y plus 2. You have to be super careful here in this expansion. So now I'm going to square both sides. Squaring both sides we get x squared plus y minus 2 the whole squared is equal to 36. 36 minus 12 times square root of x squared plus y plus 2 squared plus squaring this will give you x squared plus y plus 2 the whole squared so let us expand with a different color so this is x squared plus y squared y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 36 you keep this as it is minus 12 times square root of x squared plus y plus 2 squared and expanding this this is x squared plus y squared plus 4y plus 4 so what gets cancelled you got x squared on the left hand side and x squared on the right hand side so y squared and y squared gets cancelled. 4 and 4 gets cancelled. So now our life is much easier. So let me bring, let us keep this on this side and bring the other on the left hand side. So this is minus 4y. Uh, oops, I did something wrong here. Yeah. I hope you can see what mistake I did. Uh, so this plus 4 and plus 4 will get cancelled. 4y will not get cancelled because this is plus 4y and other is minus 4y. So this is minus 4y minus 4y minus 36 is equal to minus 12 times square root of x squared plus y plus 2 the whole square. So this becomes minus 8y minus 36 is equal to minus 12 times so now think what how can you make this a bit simpler what goes in 8 36 and 12 which number goes in 8 36 and 12 well we can divide this by negative 4 this by negative 4 and this also by negative 4 so this becomes negative 8 divided by negative 4 is 2y uh, this is 2y and this is 9 plus 9 
is equal to 3 times square root of x squared plus y plus 2 the whole squared. So again squaring both sides you get 4y squared. 4 this is 18y times 2 which is 36y plus 36 is equal to 9 times x squared plus y plus 2 the whole squared. Okay, so let us expand this right hand side again. So this is 4y squared plus 36y plus 36 is equal to 9 times. Let us, let us expand the inside. So this is x squared plus y squared plus 4y plus 4. So this is 4y squared plus 36y plus 36 is equal to 9x squared plus 9y squared plus 36y plus 36. Lots of algebra. Okay, and I enjoy it. So this plus 36y and plus 36y gets cancelled, plus 36 and plus 36 gets cancelled. So what happens? Uh, we have missed out something. Okay, so this is uh, what have we got here? Hmm. Okay, this is 2y plus, yeah, so this is this is 81. Oh, yeah, um, good. So this is, oops, uh, this should be. I do get excited at times, so I do make silly mistakes. Okay, so this is wrong. So this is expanding this. This should have been uh, 2y squared is 4y squared, and 8 squared is 9 squared is 81. So this is plus 81. This is also plus 81. So I have to cancel this. Always good to be on the safe side. Always good to go back and check. So this is 36. Okay, so this is right. So now I'm going to move this 30. I'm going to take away 36 from both sides. If you take away 36 from this side, you have to take away 36 from this side. If you take away 4y squared from this side, you have to take away 4y squared from this side. So 81 minus 36 is 45 is equal to 9x squared plus 5y squared. Now those were learned conic sections. So this is nothing but 9x squared plus 5y squared is equal to 45. Now this is nothing but the equation of an ellipse. I'll show this on a graphic calculator. So to write this in a standard form, I'm going to divide by 45. So if I divide this by 45, I do also divide this by 45 and also divide this by 45. So what will we have? This is x squared over 5. I'm writing a square root of 5 squared plus y squared over 9, which is 3 the whole squared, is equal to 1. So this is an ellipse. This is an uh, uh, ellipse in the standard form. Okay, where a is the standard form of an ellipse is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. Okay, so a is square root of 5 and b is 3. So this is my graphic calculator. So I already worked this out. So if you go to ellipse, uh, this is square root of, I'll go back, exit, uh, conics. Okay, now this is ellipse. Your, this is square root of uh, 5, which is 2.23. I've saved this. Your b is 3, your h and k is 0. So this is an ellipse. And the points that were given now were nothing but the focus, okay, or the four sides. So g sol focus. So one focus is 0, negative 2, and the other focus is, focus is 0, negative 2.